Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 4 of Titan Quest on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were, and I mean exactly. <laughs> Stood standing exactly where we were, haven't been moved, haven't touched a button people since the last part. Let's crash straight in, shall we? We're alright inventory wise at the minute, we can pick up a few more bits, so I'll keep going for now. Ooh, the Mycenaean Ruins. What lurks in this place? Skeletons about yet? Alright. Absolutely hammered, people. Well, that was a bit of an onslaught, bloody hellfire. Poison that. Right, walk past a few bits here. Smouldering hand axe. Crikey, nearly another level up, people. Another one after that, and we'll be able to get another. What do you call it? Mastery or whatever it's called. I'm sure these skeletons can come back, can respawn, feel. That's what my gut's telling me. So we can actually go in there. Well, I have this sense where I should... I think I should go back and dump some stuff before we go into those ruins. So, let's do that. That's a bit of a waste. Teleport! <laughs> 
Well, I've got a gold ring there. Loop of insight. Oh, that's a silver. Another strength one. Hmm, plus 15 defense ability and 14 armor plus 20% energy regeneration. Really, Steve? Sell all of it, really, can't we? There's anything there we need to keep, really, apart from the jet, the stones. And with those monsters everywhere, you better get some quality weapons and armor. Yeah, it does seem to suggest that that bangle is better than what I'm wearing. Can't wear it yet, though. Needs intelligence. Hand axe. Got the gladius in the thing, so we've probably dumped that. We Man. shall see you again, I hope. Hail, traveller! Store your things with me! Here I keep you! Meanwhile, back in the Mycenaean ruins. I'm not overly sure about this bow move. It's annoying me that I keep having to keep tapping the B button. About to get a level up. Level up and ride your pony. Level seven, people. Get a lot of yellow items in this game, which I assume are standard magical. Did tell us at one point somewhere. Nice, we're going to invest in that snare net. Captures them all at once if they're in a group. Alleviating beads, alleviating crude buckler. Let's have a look at that. Sounds health like. Oh, it's poison. 9% poison resistance. We've got 7% plus 5 intelligence on the ones we've got on, though, so. Yeah, 
I think we'll stick with what we've got. Oh, yeah, we can level up, can't we? Let's do it, people. Let's do it. Yeah, we've only got lightning and... Uh, yeah, lightning, poison and fire. We've got a little bit of resistance on at the minute. Yeah, I've not done anything with the health and the energy, have I, at the minute? 300 plus 245. 300 plus 268. Might come unstuck because I've just been doing strength and dexterity for the whole, <laughs> the whole thing so far. Right, well... Uh, as it happens, we were going to go with the three points to get this, weren't we? Um, so we can get... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it before we change our minds. Level 10. So we can now tap into all of this stuff here. Mind you, that's pointless until you get that. Oh, no, that's a passive. That's a move. Call of the hunt. Those who answer the call of the hunt will fight with increased speed and cunning. So I'm confused as to how to activate that sort of stuff, because that, that's the problem I'm having with this. I assume you activate it and it lasts a period of time, that one. But this one, I, I'm confused because it says assign this to your left mouse button, which is clearly not meant to be there for console. Anyway, done it now. The points are spent, and we can invest heavily when we get our next level up. Whoa. Festering zombie. Garland of agility. Simple wraps of brawn. I must be using it right, because every time I press B, it uses a little bit of blue. Sure, that was a 
I leave it in simple. Yeah. Crikey, we picked up a lot in here, haven't we? Well, I think this house is clean. This house is clean. No, it's not. Now though. Right, well, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Well, there's nothing left to do in here unless there's another path to go up the top. Lost all track of the quest I meant to be on. Yeah, we've not been up here, have we? Nope. Yeah, that's a new area. Nice. Spartan Woods. Take me down to Paradise City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Please take me home. All right. <laughs> Could have come out the door and just gone immediately right and took the long way around to that path, didn't I? Actually, our uh, inventory is a bit full, isn't it? Could do with a uh, quick trip back to town. I'm returning to town. This is Sparta. I don't think we need to store anything, so Sparta's as good as anywhere, really. Six and a half a dozen, though, isn't it? Takes as long to get one as the other. Like a, no, it's just a guy with a helmet. I thought it was some cat dude. Every time, every time. What is it this time? and resistance again but the ones I've got I've got plus five yeah better intelligence dexterity 18 armor though yeah those ones are actually deemed as better because they've got uh, 18 armor as opposed to 10 and plus five dexterity on them but I've got 14% lightning resistance on my current one and regen on my energy that I don't need. I put those on. Plus 14 offensive ability, not as good. Plus 6 dexterity. Thank Goodbye. you for not loitering. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've lost our lightning resistance though. Is the only thing. Oh, I see. They're the um, right. So they're actually for my character. Those bangly things are actually for mages and shit. I think. Protective bangle. I use reinforced armbands of agility, which is why it's got. Uh, yeah, probably more suited to my character, to be fair. So. You again. Yes, it's me again. What of it? Nine percent vitality damage resistance. Nine percent reduced petrify. Okay. Still not put those strengths on anything, which I think can go on my things I've just put on. I. Let's go. <laughs> Just teleport me back onto the back of a bloody wild boar. <clears throat> Essence of Zeus's Thunderbolt. That must be something to do with lightning, surely. Yeah, plus 6% lightning damage, plus 6% lightning burn damage. Right, it's for a weapon, as it happens. Could put it on the spear. Yeah, spear's the only thing we can put it on, actually. I think I will. Yeah, I mean, the game is it's quite clever because the game is actually designed to make you jump between multiple weapons. Because the, the bow, I mean, the, the bow is only good really at greater distances because once you get up close and personal, the damage with the spear or the melee weapon is far stronger. So it makes no sense to keep hammering them with the bow unless you get some kind of bow, you know, bow move that hits a lot of enemies at once, which I think you can later on. There's a lot of them in there. That was a bad move, I think.
Really? Ooh, that went uh, all right, I think. Considering the bloody amount of them that were there. See a single chest down there, though. So that lightning damage kicking in, though, it's quite nice. Why is my character not doing anything? Okay, seems to have bugged out on me. There we go. Nice, pretty good that old net move. Once we get it expanded, you could almost like net them, run away a bit, and use the bow to hit them as you're getting hammered. But they actually netted me there, cheeky beggars. Essence of Achilles. What's this one doing? Five damage plus four percent attack speed. Yeah, nothing left to put it on. Hello, friends. Looks like we've reached somewhere. The village of Tegia. Tegia. Nice. Let's see if we can find a waypoint. Hey, we've got a shop here. Christ, it's just me or those boars got bigger. Get decent XP off those boars, you know. But I'm getting decent XP off of everything in this area, pretty much. I want to get to that level 8 so that we can get another mastery. I'm sure it was level 8. I hope it is now that I've said that. Yeah, I mean, we'll level up in no time if we keep getting that many enemies.
be like leveling up before we go back to the village. Oh, I didn't get the waypoint though, did I? A bit silly. I can do that first. Oh, hello. Arcane formula. That's that thing where you can make stuff, isn't it? Let's go back and at least discover the waypoint in the village so we know we can bounce back if we want to. That was the shriny thing. Hmm. I wonder if there's not a waypoint in this village. Spiders! The shit, I didn't see those on the way in. Oh, that's Tagia Forest. I don't think we've been to Tagia Forest yet, have we? Highly confused. We must have come in this way. Yeah, we came in from there, didn't we? Must have come in from this direction. Yeah. Well, that's a bit disappointing. There must be a waypoint, surely. Doesn't look like it, though, does it? They're usually pretty obvious. They're usually pretty close to those well things. We should just go and fight because I can't find a waypoint. Which is a bit concerning because it's a hell of a walk back, isn't it? To gear graveyard. I wonder if it's. No, oh, because the first one was called a village, wasn't it? I think. I sing now muse of the goddess huntress we call Artemis, and I sing of a mortal man named Actaeon, the goddess Artemis, sister to Apollo and mistress of the moon. There is no greater hunter than she, none more fleet or sure of her mark with bow or spear. Actaeon too was a master hunter, and many a deer fell to his bow, and many offered up to Artemis in thanks. But Actaeon was given an ill fate. One night, chasing a boar, he burst into a clearing by a stream. And there, that very stream had keen-eyed Artemis selected for her moonlit bath. Naiads, dryads, all her nymphs around her. She had just disrobed and stepped into the stream when Actaeon appeared, wild from the chase. She grew angry that a mortal man had seen her unclothed, and with one cold look she turned him to a stag. A stag he then became, and Actaeon's own dogs chased after him, snarling at their master. Now their prey. Very good. News from all over Greece brings the same tale of destruction. The creatures roam everywhere. What are the small villages to do? Spartans cannot protect us all. Well, we could, uh... I used to sell plants I've already sold everything, to farmers, but since the monsters, it's been swords and shields, greaves and spears. It doesn't seem to matter which bow I look at. It's very slow. <laughs> What's that all about? Surely an oak straight bow of quickness. Oh, it's got an attack speed of plus eight plus eight percent. Nine to twenty-six. 
Physical damage, energy leech for bonus damage. Pupil's reinforced helm. There's more armor on the one that he's got and fire resistance. Got health regeneration on mine though, which uh, is plus forty three percent, which I quite like. Come again, smile on you. Right, well, for lack of a waypoint, we'll crack on. The water by our village has gone foul. It happened just the day before last, after the first satyr was spotted. My sister got sick, and then my neighbor. Poison Spring. Is it Tigia Woods we're going into. No, it's a gear forest. Larger than a wood, I think you'll find. Oh, spiders. Oh, no. What? A spider with a spear? What's going on? It's not a spear, actually. I think it's, it's oh, it is a spear. Oh, they're kind of spiders with uh, human upper bodies, by the looks of it. I see. I feel like I was getting better XP off of the bloody boars on the other level. Yeah, there's little spiders and there's, pe there's the half human, half spider things. And they need the bitty spiders. Itty bitty spider. Flaming up the spiders. To gear spring. But that can go on something. Tough. All oh right, it's an actual armor. Tough Arachnos chit chitin, <laughs> chitin of discovery. Plus four armor, plus three health regeneration. Oh hello. Plus thirty-two percent health regeneration. Oh, that's hard to pass up, isn't it? And now I've got four charms in that bloody thing that I'm wearing. Twenty-four armor on this thing as well. It's got to go on, isn't it? Nice, looks cool as well. Hmm, bit of a shame you can't get the monster charms out. Well, maybe you can somewhere. Formula, yeah. Got that. that looks pretty badass, doesn't it? That little outfit. Who are you? Pegaea, the water imp. Mortal, I am Anayad, the spirit of this spring. Pagea, I am called. My water has been tainted and I am ill. Vile spiders have come to dwell in a cave by my water's source. They are the cause of the poison. Poison Spring, okay. 
We'll go into the cave and we'll sort them out in a minute. Let me just make sure the area's clear out here. Mind you, it doesn't really matter. I think I've done it already. Yeah, I think we're clear. Enter the spidery cave. The fetid lair. Nothing good can come of this place. Frostbite Shrine. Not sure that anything's actually putting Frostbite on me, though. Deeper into the cave we go. <gasps> A green staff of frost. Yes, like I'm not using staffs though, that's typical, isn't it? A green must be a a set or something else. Epic or something. Stout Staff of Frost, yeah, it's got quite a lot of perks on it. So greens are better than yellows. Oh, hello, they look a bit interesting. Come back to them. Might level up in this cave if it keeps going this well. say. 2% physical resistance plus 15 health. It's quite a decent loot system in this to be fair. It's probably actually a bit more interesting on the pickups than Diablo was for this early in the game. Ornate chest and the bone pile have not been discovered. Mm -hmm. 
orbed weaver. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Whoa, now. Steady. Fuck. Oh, I'm stuck in web. You did. Venom sack. Lovely. Arachnos shitting of endurance. Spiked club of demonology. Oh, hello. Oh. Got stuck. Not far from level up now. God damn it, I'm full again. Monster Charm, Venom Sack. Nine poison damage over three seconds. I've got two of them. And simply nothing to put it on. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to use that armor, but it would be worth some money. Staff would be worth hanging on to as it's a green. Uh, I think we can teleport back from here, can't we? Yeah, we can. Let's go to Helos. Helos! I'll hold your things for you. That's very kind of you. Well, I might put the spike club in there. Because it's half decent. And I might put the... Yeah, the green staff. Uh, Arachnos... Sh sh oh, that's tough that I've got on. Yeah, we can sell that armour, actually. It's the same type that we've got on, but ours is better. Arachnos chitin on endurance. Cold resistance. Keep that actually. Lightning resistance. Keep a few resistance rings in case we run into an enemy that's a bit tough. With that. And the rest of it, we can sell. Yeah, that Brutus armor. We can't. Well, I'm tempted to hang on to it just in case we can get the charms out of it, but I'm not sure that we can. guide you. So, what suits your fancy? Yeah, we could have stored our um, formula as well, couldn't we? Oh, Mind you, you the problem is there's not a storage guy at the other place, is there? There's not a storage guy where the guy that does the formulas is. Oh, we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're going to sell the armor, won't we? Good morning, Fred. I feel like I've done something wrong now. I don't know why I've still got the armor. Until next time. No. Oh, fucking hell. I've just gone to the wrong place. Worry not, it's still there. The fetid lair.
Another Arachnos chitin of ability. Draining Cleaver of Destruction. can play at that game, you know. Ooh, thank you. Got a helmet of brawn there. Arachnos helmet might be of use. Alleviating Arachnos helmet. Arachnos arm plates. Reinforced buckler of life. Blimey, got a fair bit out of that. Yeah, I like the <laughs> poison resistance plus plus eight strength. I'm definitely going to wear that. Um, oh, God damn it. Every time I put my things in something, I get a better... <sighs> Vitality damage resistance, reduce petrify. 2% physical resistance plus 15 health. Movement speed. Five damage, four percent. I wonder if you can you smelt those together. Those uh, if they're the same. I don't have to do the same. A I... oh, you get plus five, de plus five dexterity on that one. I've got my health regeneration on my armor and on my helm now as well, which is what's putting me off putting these on. Got two of those helms. One's got plus four armor, and the other's got plus eight strength. Fucking hell. That adds to the damage, doesn't it? Nine percent poison resistance. But we'll lose plus two health regeneration per second, and plus 48, uh, plus 43 percent health regeneration, which is fast. The armor that I've got has only got 32 percent health regeneration on it. Better chance of, yeah, that can block better damage. Alright. Hey, we leveled up people, I didn't even notice. Level up and ride your pony! Right, hang on, we'll do that level up in a second once we get rid of these guys. Fuck, getting absolutely wasted here. Nice. The poison spring updated. Fucking hell, that was that was <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to carry all of this. I've got to go back to town again. Arm plates of endurance. Yeah, I can never carry all of that, that's ridiculous. Take the health potions because they tend to stack a bit. Essence of Hermes sandal. I've got one of those already. Could smelt that. Arachnos arm plates of endurance. Buckler of proficiency. And we can't take the arm plates. Holy crap. Got six percent cold resistance on those arm um, arm pieces. Mm. I mean, be tempting to hang on to what have they got? Venom sack, nine poison damage over three seconds. Can't actually put it on anything, can I?
movement speed. Yeah, I've got two of those now. Yeah, you can. So I've just put two of those into one socket. So you can build them into one gem that then goes on the armor, which is quite cool. I might, that arachnid stuff, I might well hang on to until I can get health regen on it or something. Saying that, the armor's actually... Oh, I've already got an arachnid armor on, that's why it was the helmet I was looking at, wasn't it? Plus four armor, plus eight strength would be the one to put on. Stick it on for a minute. <laughs> it's awesome. But we'll see how we are in battle. Before we go doing anything crazy. Look at that light coming through the ceiling. Yeah, it looks like we've cleared them out. that helmet it looks bloody awesome hey yeah he lost it will need to be because I think what we'll do is we'll stick the bits I'm not sure of in the storage and then we'll crack on with what we've got the thing is my health is so good at regenerating at the minute I don't want to lose it really she looks awesome doesn't she So, we could do we're hanging on to that pair of Achilles. Yeah, let's do some storage first. I'll hold your things for you. That's very kind. So I'm going to hang on to those. <coughs> oh, blimey, it was dusty in that cave, people. A, we're going to hang on to that helmet because that's my health helmet. Plus four armor. Well, we've got the plus thingy one on, so... Yeah, that's dexterity. I'm on to that for a bit. The storage area is quite small. I wonder if you can... You must be able to buy something to expand that, surely. Uh, hang on to the axe for a bit. That... Yeah, that was actually better. Plus 24 offensive ability. Yeah, I'm not overly bothered about that one. That's just a better chance to block. But only just a health thing. That's got the same block, but 20 plus 24 offensive ability. And I think we can sell the rest. My blades will serve you in a pinch. We my shall see you again, I hope. You never know, my friend. What? How are we at an hour already, people? What's going on? God's sake.
Right, I think we are clear, people. Does the map show us any more of this place? Yeah, it does. Can't see anything we didn't do. Or uncover, I should say. Just going to finish this quest off for this part. Yeah, a little bit undiscovered up here. Yeah. So much for the big map, eh? Majestic chest, thank you. It's so shiny, I want to open it. Oh, it is a yellow. Practically full again. Yeah. Plus one to all skills in defense mastery, of which we don't have. Oh, hello. We didn't. Uh, we've got a level up, and we've level. We're level eight. We can get another mastery, I think. Now, people, should we have a look. All right. So, what are we doing? The rogue is unmatched at dealing rapid damage on opponents. That's kind of a daggery thing, isn't it? So we don't want that. Ah. Uh, how do I get to welfare from here? I don't understand how to get to... Well, runes and hunting seem to be out because as a hunter, there must be some reason you can't have them. You've got to keep your finger on it, haven't you? The warrior excels at dealing uh, physical damage but pays little heed to defense. With higher mastery levels, the warrior can learn to deal damage to severe adversaries at once. Well, that seems to be someone with a sword, doesn't it? That's a more magic's one. That's a lightning one. Excels at dealing massive lightning and cold damage to single opponents or small groups. The Stormcaller has a limited personal defense, but can slow, freeze, and stun enemies with frost and thunder attacks. Oh, hello. The Defender specializes in surviving battles, but offers little in the way of offensive enhancements. Oh, that's defense, yeah. Many skills focus on utilizing the shield to deflect attacks and disable enemies. I mean, we could go defensive and hunting. Gives us a bit of both, I suppose. It, that seems to be more mace orientated than sword orientated, I think. Uh, I'm a wee bit torn. Raining down destruction on herds of enemies. Uh, I think the magical ones, I might struggle with the old uh, intelligence because I haven't invested anything in it as yet. Early days, right enough. Rogue has to be daggery stuff. Oh, mind you, nature. Nature does healing. The, uh, is it? The Wanderer can call on the denizens of the forest to deal damage and shield them from enemies. Healing and defensive auras allow allies to survive longer. Yeah, I'm not really bothered about allies. I'm playing on my own, aren't I? wonder if I should try the, well, the warfare. 
excels at physical damage, which will go hand in hand with the with what I'm doing, I suppose, already. Ooh. Oh, you can undo it. That's quite cool. So you can look at the moves and then hit undo. So, years of training with the sword, axe... Oh, there you go. Sword, axe and club allow you to attack faster and more accurately. And also grant some proficiency in throwing them. Alright. Offensive ability plus 62, plus 5% attack speed. There's a few passives straight off the bat there, aren't there? Each enemy here has a chance of sending you into battle rage. As bonus damage and attacks. Yeah, that's another passive. You get two passives straight off the bat down there. There's quite a few passives in there. Dodge attack. The stir Even the sturdiest armor has its chinks. The best way to stay alive is not get hit. Yeah, I think this is definitely the one I want to go with. When, you when used as your default weapon attack, onslaught charges... Onslaught charges up as you hit enemies. Causing increased damage for up to twice the original damage bonus. The first hit adds... Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for this, folks. I do, I do, I do. But what are we going to do first? Has to be passives, doesn't it, I suppose. Can we get that yet? No. We have to put... This skill requires one. Yeah, we need one point. Decision made. So, we can get two passives straight off the bat here. Weapon training. Years of training in the sword, axe and club allows you to attack faster. Yeah, so that's pretty much the same as I did with my bow. Dodge attack. Yeah, I love this. Gonna get it. There's another passive there. Dual wield. Mind you, I might not do that. Depends. Right. Well, I think we'll go straight for that. Could get one of each and then top up that on the next one. So we've got two new passives. 94%. Uh, plus 94 offensive. 8% chance of activating, 10 second duration, 8 damage, plus 33% offensive ability. Nah, sod it, we'll do this, so we'll do this, we'll do the weapon training first. Nice. Oh, nice. So, go back and see the nymph. No, oh, thank you. That said, I mean, we've now got the option to use the spear or the sword, but you can only have two weapon sets. I mean, in theory, <laughs> you could dump the bow all together and just go with spear and sword. But I won't like having the bow as an option. You have cleansed the poison from the cave. My waters will run clear and clean again. Nice. 1,500 experience. What the shit? Health and energy restored. Plus 75 health. Well, as it happens, we can go, uh... Yeah, there's no, yeah, there's no point running back to the village, because there's no bloody... Thingy me jobber. Teleporter point. Waypoint, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Helios. Helos! Let's get our Gladius out, madam. Anything else? Wrong Anything person. Sorry, my friend. Eh, I say that. We've got stuff to sell, haven't we? Yeah, we have. They can go. That can... 
Yeah, I don't have defense mastery, so no point. Yeah, so they can go... That can go... I think we can use an axe, actually, as well as the gladius. That's the option. But that one can... It's got life leech on it right enough. But, yeah, we'll get rid of it. And we'll get rid of that. Hello there. Hello. Uh, I think we'll get rid of those. Goodbye, my friend. I'll hold your. I think I've got an axe. Just want to see what's on it. Three to five fire damage. 11 to 18, 11, yeah, it's the same, just got fire damage on it instead of life leech. Life leech is probably the one to keep, to be fair, because it's, uh, if I'm going to use it. Let's get the gladius looked at. 11 to 17 damage. Yeah, it, it's going to be less damage than the spear but should be quicker I think yeah very fast the gladius yeah there you go nice <laughs> proper gladiator now check it lovely right we'll get that uh, leveled up that that thing will level up, increase in offensive and speed as well. So just get faster and faster. What was the difference in damage? Yeah, so you're taking a hit on damage, but you're going quicker, aren't you? Um, so it'll be interesting to see if I actually like what I've done here. 11 to 17 as opposed to 13 to 27. The base damage isn't that much different, though. But very fast as opposed to very slow. You've got to be getting more hits. You're going to get more damage, surely, God. If you went, if you went dual wielded as well, be pretty insane, wouldn't it? Can I put anything, any of my charms on that sword? Physical resistance, health, movement speed plus ten. Yeah, that's a shame. I can't put the movement speed on anything. Yeah. 5 damage and 4% attack speed. That will go on the sword, wouldn't it? Yeah, nice. Sweet! Right, there you are, folks. I think it's an ideal place to wrap it up. And we can teleport straight back to where we were. To give forest in the next part. Went well over an hour there again, I think. I thoroughly enjoyed that episode, actually. Feeling like I'm... Now that I've got the second mastery, I feel like the all the doors are open, people. Quite fancy in the next episode of this. It has been an honour and privilege serving for you once again in Titan Quest on the Xbox Series X. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.